Hi there, my name is Miguel and I work at MakeSwift. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the slot control to make your components even more extensible in the MakeSwift Builder. So let's jump right in. So what we have here is the pricing page of the Bootstrap template in MakeSwift. And so in this page, we have a frequently asked questions section and I've gone ahead and I've built a custom component that lets us uh, open and collapse these questions uh, just a little bit of flair. Uh, I've used the disclosure component from Headless UI. It's a great library made by the same folks that make Tailwind. Really recommend it. And so what this looks like in the MakeSwift Builder is we've got our frequently asked questions. We can go into the sidebar and we can open it and close it. But more importantly, of course, we can go ahead and change our title. We can change some of the body text and make any changes like visually. But with the slot, we want to do something better. We want to change this body text so that instead of writing text here, we can put anything inside this component. And so let's jump into the code and see how we can do that. So here in the code, I'll first show you this disclosure component. It's a pretty straightforward React component. It doesn't know anything about MakeSwift. It takes a title prop and a body prop. Then just passes this down using the headless disclosure component and uses it here. Now we want to change this body from a string to be able to be any React element. So let's jump over to register component where we register the component with MakeSwift. And so in here, you can see that we're using text input for the title and then text area for the body text. Let's change that. So we'll go in here and we'll use the new slot control. This has been imported from MakeSwift. And so you can see here that we've got a type error from disclosure. No worries, we can easily fix that. We just have to change the type of the body from a string to a React node. So we'll go ahead and import React node from React we can save this, save our register component, and that's it. Now the body is coming in from MakeSwift as a full React node. So let's see what that looks like in the builder. So back in the builder, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick refresh. And so with this slot, we should now see a placeholder where we can drop not just text, but images, buttons, and anything else that we want. So over here in our page, we can go back to our questions. And you can see now that there's a placeholder here and I can actually drag and drop some rich text. And I have like the full control of this component like normally make Swift, but I can drop other components like an image component, for example. I can go ahead and select the disclosure component. I can change the column distribution to move it left and right. I can double click in this text and say, yes, you may cancel at any time. And that's it, that slot. You can use this slot to make it so that all of your components have more accessibility capabilities in MakeSwift so that the no-code user can go in the builder and drop anything they want. We hope you like it. Please check out the documentation. It's at makeswift.com slash docs slash controls slash slot. Give us any feedback, any questions that you have. We hope you enjoy this. Um, and yeah, just keep building. See you next time.